nice to entertain you With music and laughter to help you on your way To raising the rafters with a hey, hey, hey With songs and sketches and jokes old and new With us about you and Phil Blue So meet the gang cause the boys are here The boys to entertain you B-O-B-O-Y-S Boys to entertain you My friends, you are knowing, I'm sure, about a great land which is living over the other side of our Himalayas called China. Now, the people who live in China are not a bit like us British. Oh, blimey, no. They are very peculiar. You see, they do not say, I remember the summer of 1942 or I remember the winter of 1945. Oh, no. They are saying, I remember the year of the fiery dragon or I remember the winter of the brass monkey, isn't it? <laughs> now, all this is very confusing, I must tell you. And what is more, it has nothing to do with what I am talking about. <laughs> but there is one day that I do remember, which I am calling the day of the Ishmael elephant. It all began like many days in India, with very hot sun, very many dirty flies, and also some beautiful music. Not you, you damn coolie. <laughs> Jolly hot chasa, eh? No, clear off. What do you call for chasa? What are you talking about? You call cha cha cha. <laughs> ba ba ba, you book. Clear off. Clear off. Clear off. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but you're not quite right there. Yeah, well, I can't do it without hearing the tenor on the melody. See? Well, Lofty will be back any minute now. Let's try the whole thing again. <clears throat> okay? Mm. Ah. Here we are again. Happy as can be. <laughs> <laughs> All good pals and jolly good company. <laughs> <laughs> Strolling round the town. Out upon the spree. <laughs> Out upon the spree, sir. Well, what about it? It's the next line of the song. I don't see that's got anything to do with you, Ashford. <laughs> I'm awful sorry, sir. Carry on with whatever you're doing. Yes, sir. Good heavens. Where are you off to? It's 11.30. I'm going to water my plants. Oh, you don't need to smoke like that. Just take your water and go. Yes, sir. Captain Ashford is a bit edgy this morning, sir. Yes, sir. His new plant has just arrived at the station. Oh, you mean that flower thing his friend sent from Simla? That's right, sir. You won't rest until it's safely planted. I gather it's something pretty erotic, sir. <laughs> Get off, shoot! Go away, you rotten thing! What's up now? What's going on, Ashford? Go away! And you jolly well stay away! It was one of those wretched pie dogs, sir. He was just about to lift his leg on one of my dahlias. Oh. <laughs> you better put barbed wire around those before your plant arrives from your friend. A fruity Montefiore. Funny name for a plant. <laughs> That's the name of my friend. <laughs> Uh, what time will the bear be back with it from the station? Oh, I didn't send the bearer, sir. I thought it was far too important to trust a native. Uh, whom did you send? A gunner Sugnam, sir. Oh, that's a small one with a very high voice, isn't it? That's right, sir. The very low head. <laughs> he left on the 930 swill wagon, sir. The 930 swill wagon? But well, that doesn't come back till tomorrow morning. Don't it, sir? So it doesn't. Must have slipped my mind, sir. But it's eight miles. He'd have to walk back. Oh, dear. How sad. Never mind. <laughs> Eight miles on them little fat legs. <laughs> Something about a soldier. Something about a soldier. Something about a soldier. Excuse me, is this the right road to do a lolly cam? Thanks very much. <laughs> I say, John, is this the right road to do a lolly cam? Ah, do a lolly cam. Ah, see the jaw. See the jacket. See the hat. Come on. Then you can take your hand and take your hand. Do you want to come? But I'll tell you the other way. Do you want to come? You can take your hand straight. 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 You can take your hand stra
मगर ख्याल रखना के शेर चीते उस तरह बहुत है और सब ठीक हो जाएगा Bye, it's warm. I am one little lamb who has lost his way. Ba ba ba. Who has gone astray? Ba ba ba. I needed that. I expect the aspidestra could do with a drop. Hello. You're an elephant, aren't you? You like that? You've eaten it, haven't you? I'll be in trouble. I'd better not stop here any longer, or I'll be in worse trouble. Anchors out on the spree, damned from here to eternity. Cool, have mercy on me. We could walk our boat a bit. Suddenly everybody wants to be a producer. Bob, why do not we have one Indian song in the show? No, the audience wouldn't understand it. But, Sab, I could uh, translate as we go along, and uh, Mohammed here can accompany me on the charn. It will be a great joy for you, Sab. I'm red hot on the charn. Ah, chata. Ah. Dumpty, dumpty, dum, dum. Well, if you insist, I'm worn out. Oh, Turn over. Hey, John, John, pardon me. This is the story of a young Gorka boy who is very much in love with a young Gorka girl. Hey, John, John, pardon me. Unfortunately, he has put her into what is known in India as the Chapati Club. <laughs> but he is wishing to marry her and to make honest woman of her. So he is returning to Dehradun to ask his wife. <laughs> Unfortunately, his wife say no. And it is entirely your fault that she has got such a big tum ti tum ti tum tum. What are you doing here? You're not allowed. It's WD property here. Eh? Yes, You'd better stop here and back up my tail. <laughs> Yes, sir. Don't worry about it. I'll take it all over the place. And this is your clock room ticket. Terrible! Again! Worse! Well, a second, three hours ago, you left here on a special mission to collect a very important plant. It was only an eight-mile walk. Where has you been? Well, I had to have a little sit down. I was mafted. You have got no right to be mafted. Where's the plant now? I give it to the punker lad. Arey, dekhiye, dekhiye, sir, boy, aapke pool sare kha gaye, green fly. But it was in flower. What's happened to the flower? 
It got consumed. Consumed? <laughs> you disgusting little man! You've deflowered it! Gunnar Sugden, consider yourself on a charge, Section 40. Conduct prejudicial to good order and military discipline in that you did improperly eat one plant, the property of Captain Ashwood. I didn't eat it, the elephant did. Said plant was in you at what elephant? In the playground. Black playground! <laughs> Tell us, Sergeant, where is the said elephant? It must have took off. <laughs> Tell us, Sergeant, you were supposed to be a soldier. You know as well as I do that you was not allowed to make up fantastical stories when being charged by a warrant officer! Oh. Oh. Every flower is gone. <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely unspeakable. You're a monster. It wasn't nothing to do with me. Excuse me, Sab, Sab! I've just come from officer's mess up. Major Pinkerton Sab was having drink when Elephant walked into mess up and out the other side. <laughs> what are you talking about? The doors aren't big enough. But he went through the wall, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Great Scott! But whatever did Major Pinkerton say? I don't know, Sab. The mess fell down. <laughs> Hello? Hello? This is serious. An elephant has just demolished the guard room. Where is he now, sir? Picking his teeth with the doorpost. <laughs> Tell the bugler to sound the alarm. Uh, this is all your fault, Gunnar Sugden! Because I hold you entirely responsible. Sir Major Williams! Yes! What? What? Hold on. Casualty reception station, sir. The bugler has just been wheeled in. Oh, dear. Is yes. this serious? Uh, just, apparently, sir, as he was putting the bugle to his lips to sound the alarm, the elephant blew down the other end. <laughs> Operating? They can't, sir. They cannot give him anaesthetic without mending the puncture first. <laughs> You've got a hell of a lot to answer for, Gunner, Gunner, uh, Sugden, Gunner, Sugden. Sugden. Tell them to keep us posted. Come on. Right, Major Ashwood. No good. Ashwood, <coughs> you better get the situation under control as quickly as possible. Do you understand? Me, sir? Yes. What are your plans? Elephants. Plans? Ah, yes. Do that. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm just formulating them, sir. Just do it. Good. Beg pardon, sir. I think we should send out recce parties to locate the enemy. What enemy? The Hellevent, sir. Oh, yes, of course. Once we find him, sir, we can neutralise him. Neutralise him? Well, you have to be damn careful how you go about doing that. <laughs> I lay on the recce party, sir. Right. Concert party! Get on parade! Come on, he sounds very cross. Come on! What shall I do? Just go away. Yes, go away. You're going to have to pay for all this damage, you know? Get property fell in some bodies, we'll send one serve! Come on, come on! Go top! On the command number, you will number from the right in twos! Number! One, two, one, two, one, two, one! On the command fall out, you will hunt in pairs to locate a missing or rogue elephant. elephant. Stand still! <laughs> Once located, this elephant, number one, will report to the battery office. Number two will keep the elephant under observation at all times. You two go that way. You two go that way, and you two go that way. What shall I do? I've no one to two with. <laughs> I need a chum. The way you is going on, boy, you may never have a chum again. <laughs> you stand fast, Gunnar Sugden. Once located, this elephant will need a task force to deal with it. You is the task force. Fire! Oh, you will take the high road, and I will take the low road. अरे हाथी क्या ये तो अपना नाक भी नहीं ढूंढ सकते और मैं कहता हूँ कि ये हाली हाथ वापस आएंगे two hours later. Yes, I was going to tell the general there's very little to worry about. We have the situation in hand. My adjutant has set up a control centre. Oh, he's a first class chap. Yes, I have every confidence in him. We'll keep you completely informed. Goodbye. That's the area commander. They're on to it. Someone in the town major's office has spilt the beans. Oh, the recce party says back, sir. Would you like to hear their reports? Good idea. Wait a minute when I've made this call. Squad, oh. how? Recce party, left hand! Go! What? Right, Salute! General, left hand! Want me a moment make your report? Yes, well, <laughs> we went past the camp theatre through bee lines. Oh, was ever so eerie out there, because nobody's been living out there for quite a long time. Anyway, <laughs> I 
I crept round the side of one basher, and Parky crept round the side of the other one. Uh, Gunner Parkins, Parkins, uh, very alert soldier. <laughs> we would have laughed. <laughs> because, you see, we both crept round the far end together and bumped into each other. <laughs> oh, I said to him, you'd enough give me a turn. <laughs> <laughs> did you or not, did you see an elephant? No, not one. We went out by the cookhouse. As instructed, sir, what did you discover? It's silings for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> any sign of any elephants? No, sir. <laughs> what about you, Gunner? Gunner? Uh, Sugden, sir. Uh, Gunner Sugden, what about you? I didn't go nowhere, sir. Why not? I was in reserve. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> You've got a hell of a lot to answer for, you know. Indeed, yes, sir. And what is you doing coming in here with the recce parties? I was going to give him one of my chips. Sign him in his Sign him in his Shut up! What do you mean by sticking your head through the battle of his window? Sergeant him in his I've got a secret. <laughs> what sort of secret? Colonel, sir, I can tell you where you can find the naughty elephant. Right! Quick! <laughs> Let us help with it. Out here, Sergeant Major Sub, by the concert party basher. Right, after him quickly. Oh, just get on. If we rush out there, we might frighten him away. Quite right. We'll stroll out there as though we're doing our usual business. <laughs> Keep your voices down. I'm too frightened to talk. <laughs> what are you doing in there, Ashwood? I'm manning the control centre, sir. Move it out there. Yes. <laughs> the elephant seems quiet enough, sir. Yes. What do we do next? Somebody should uh, approach the animal, sir. Yes, quite right. Who? <laughs> <laughs> I suggest the task force, sir. Good idea. Go ahead. Gunner Sugden, approach. Good afternoon. Hello, Ofti. Have you seen... Help, my poor. Don't see many of them in Sochi Hall Street, Bob. <laughs> Shut up. How are you going on? There's no reply. <laughs> yes, well, uh, you deal with it, Sergeant Major. And report to us in the battery office as soon as you've seen it off the cap. <laughs> yes, I'll be in the control centre. <laughs> well, this uh, poses something of a problem, does it not? Oh, this poses something of a problem, doesn't it? <laughs> well, it's obvious, isn't it? I mean, he's got his ears shut. What are you talking about? Well, look at that great big flat thing over its ear hole. No wonder it can't hear. Well, it's Hogan. Lift up that flap and talk to <laughs> Yes, Sergeant Major. Not too loud, mind. Cooey! <laughs> I think he heard me. He whittled something. What you need is an elephant charmer. Yeah, or Sabu the elephant boy. We need a marmite. A what? A marmite. A mar -hout. Right, what are those? What we need is a rope. Wrap right in the prop basket, Sergeant Major. There, Archie. Now there's a boy with observation and initiative. <laughs> boy. Yes, Sergeant Major. It's my widow twanky one from the Aladdin. Well, you go and get it. Uh, double. Go on, go on. Move yourself, move yourself! <laughs> uh, yes, sir, the whole affair is completely under control. Yes, my Sergeant Major intends to pass a rope around the animal so we can more or less do what we like with it. Uh, gently, of course. Bombardier! What the hell is you doing? Hurry up with that rope! I'm sorry, Sergeant Major, but it was the bottom of my basket under my Ginger Rogers and Ruby Keeler. Sharp it, Dick! <laughs> when we get the rope, we will make a noose of it and put it round the elephant's leg. That should be very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that should be very interesting. If you with your university education can come up with a better idea, perhaps you'll let me know in due course. Here I am! I mean, Spread the rope out and tie a noose in it. Tiny. Oh, when there is a crisis, we British are so daring and so brave. <laughs> and so stupid. <laughs> Shut up, you're only a tradesman. <laughs> right. Now, when I give the... <laughs> Probably a poor what the hell is this? <laughs> Sergeant Major, it's my widow twanky washing line, you see. I sing Limehouse Laundry Blues and I finish up <laughs> like this. Get the hoot. <laughs> Get them off. There speaks the voice of experience. <laughs> Shut up. I'm sorry, Sergeant Major. It'll take hours. They're all wired on. 
Bombardier, I is not leading a heliphant through these streets of Dulali on a line full of red bloomers. Cut him off! <laughs> I've got a pair of scissors, Sergeant Major. Tell you what, see. Ingenuity. That's what we need in this man's army. Good boy. Go and get him. Yes, sir. The double. In the meantime, who is going to tackle the problem of getting the rope round some portion of this elephant's anatomy? <laughs> Going sick. Stand fast, Gunner Sangan. All we got to do is to place the noose beside the elephant's left leg. Watch it. <laughs> So, now, Gunners Clark, Heavens, Macintosh, huh? stand by on that rope. When I says right, you pull it, and do not let go no matter what occurs. Understand? When you says right, Sergeant Major. Yes. Do you know scissors, Sergeant Major? <laughs> They're very sharp. Yes, well, it, it would be a pity to blunt them, boy, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, we'll carry on as we is. The question remains, how do we get the elephant's foot into the noose? Elephants, Mr. Lardy Dog and a Graham, is encourageable mimics. You show them what to do, they follow sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Come along, Jumbo. We is going to play a little game of foot in the noose. <laughs> Attention. <laughs> you put your foot in. You take your foot out. In, out, in, out. You say it all about. <laughs> like this. Watch it now. Put it in. You take it out. Go on, you try it. <laughs> Flashed his tail a moment ago. Does that mean he's getting the message? <laughs> Very likely. Stand by. <laughs> Something might happen at any moment. <laughs> Don't forget, when I says right, you pull that rope and do not let go. Now, come here, you. Put your foot in. Put your foot out. Put the foot in, you put it out. Now listen, thickhead. <laughs> Talking to you. You put your foot in, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's only a small sprain, sir. How did it happen? Did that elephant savage you? Well, not exactly, sir, but he was at the root of it. I'm sure there's very little to worry about. An expert in these matters will arrive tomorrow. But of course, the elephant may well have left by then. He seems pretty happy, you, sir. Ah, but you're reckoning without Factor X. What exactly is that, sir? Lunch. Lunch, sir? Yes, we happen to know elephants eat four bales of hay per day. Now, he's bound to be hungry, and there's hardly anything to eat around here. And that is Factor X. Heavens! <laughs> <laughs> what on earth is that? Factor Y, sir. Some of these bushes is made of a sort of hay. <laughs> up and down, sir. Well, there's no room. Sit down. It's just a... It seems such a... Shooting her seems such a cruel thing to do. Well, there's nothing else for it. You need to start a house and home. Literally. It's just not like you, sir. Well, it's not my idea. It's an order from the area commander. Shoot him, he said. And that's what has to be done. Fine squad! Fine squad, go! Now, pay attention. I have personally loaded your rifles. Six of them contain light bullets. One of them contains a blank. Thus, any one of you can delude himself that he has not shot the elephant. Although the odds are six to one that he has. Although the odds is six to one. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> the 
Colonel Shabdan, bring on the rifles and give them out. <laughs> Get them out of the double. Now, Shadow, who do you think you is? The Sheik of Arabi? That's for him. What are you talking about? So we can't see when we murder him. Gala <laughs> Shadow, this is not murder. This is legal execution. We are acting under orders from a higher authority. And it is my job to implement them orders, even though it might be tearing my heart out. However, I is a humane man. If you wishes to blindfold that elephant, I will not stop you. Move yourself, move yourself. Now, on the order take aim, you will take aim. Take aim! Oh, hide my eyes, Mohammed. I, I cannot bear to look. Can a shotgun do what you have to do and get back into line? Get back into line of the double, boy. I'm stopping here. <laughs> I ordered you to get back into line. Move yourself. I'm not shifting. Shagrin, I'm giving you one more chance. Get back into line! I'm not having you shoot him. He's only a little elephant. <laughs> right. Fall in two men, you and you. I said fall in two men! What are you soldier boys doing with my elephant? Is that yours? Of course it is mine. I have logging camp and I'm using elephant for the moving leg. But this one I cannot train. All the time he forget. Now I've heard everything. An elephant with amnesia. <laughs> you naughty, naughty, naughty boy. I am not understanding you. I am buying him from circus. And would you believe this? He's doing a dance to music and standing on his legs in the circus. But me, I cannot even make him sit down. The circus? Of course, I've got it. Lofty, when you first met him, were you singing? I might have been. Come to think of it, I was. Gentlemen rankers. Oh, sing again. We're two little lambs who have lost our way. Ba, ba, ba. Something's happening. <laughs> We're little black sheep who have gone astray. Ba, ba, ba. Lofty, try, try leading him out of the camp. Gentlemen, rankers, out of the street. There is no doubt about it, Gunner Graham. A university education comes in very handy when it comes to dealing with little elephants what is suffering from magnesia. <laughs> you know, there's an old Hindu proverb which say, if you see an elephant wearing a necklace of coconuts, this does not mean it is a feminine elephant. Oh, no, it could be Roman a Catholic elephant. <laughs>
for wanting jelly hot chasa, eh? No, clear off. But he called for chasa. What are you talking about? You call cha cha cha. <laughs> ba ba ba, you book. <laughs> 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 No, but you're not quite right there. Yeah, well, I can't do it without hearing the tenor on the melody, see? Well, Lofty will be back any minute now. Let's try the whole thing again, <clears throat> OK? Mm. Ah. Here we are again, happy as can be. <laughs> <laughs> All good pals and jolly good company. <laughs> <laughs> Strolling round the town. <laughs> Out upon the spree. <laughs> Out upon the spree, sir. Well, what about it? But it's the next line of the song. I don't see that's got anything to do with you, Ashford. <laughs> I'm awful sorry, sir. Carry on with whatever you're doing. Yes, sir. Good heavens. Where are you off to? It's 11.30. I'm going to water my plants. Oh, you don't need to salute like that. Just take your water and go. Yes, sir. Captain Ashford is a bit edgy this morning, Simon. Yes, sir. His new plant has just arrived at the station. Oh, you mean that flower thing his friend sent from Simla? That's right, sir. You won't rest until it's safely planted. I gather it's something pretty erotic, sir. <laughs> Get off, shoo! Go away, you rotten thing! What's up now? What's going on, Ashford? Go away! And do jolly well stay away! It's one of those wretched pie dogs, sir. He was just about to lift his leg on one of my dahlias. Oh. <laughs> you better put barbed wire around those before your plant arrives from your friend. A fruity Montefiore. It's a funny name for a plant. <laughs> That's the name of my friend. <laughs> uh, what time will the bear be back with it from the station? Oh, I didn't send the bearer, sir. I thought he was far too important to trust a native. Uh, whom did you send? A gunner signal, sir. Oh, that small one with a very high voice, isn't it? That's right, sir. The very low head. <laughs> he left on the 9.30 swill wagon, sir. The 9.30 swill wagon? But that doesn't come back till tomorrow morning. Don't it, sir? <laughs> so it doesn't. Must have slipped my mind, sir. But it's eight miles. You'd have to walk back. Oh, dear. How sad. Never mind. <laughs> Just think. Eight miles on them little fat legs. <laughs> Something about a soldier. Something about a soldier. Something about a soldier. Excuse me, is this the right road to do a camp? Thanks very much. I say, John, is this the right road to do Lally Camp? Ah, do Lally Camp. Ah, see the door. See the door, okay, see the... <laughs> it seems such a... Shooting her seems such a cruel thing to do. Well, there's nothing else for it. You need to start at house and home, literally. It's just not like you, sir. Well, it's not my idea. It's an order from the area commander. Shoot him, he said. And that's what has to be done. Fighting squad! Fighting squad, come! Now, pay attention. I have personally loaded your rifles. Six of them contains light bullets. One of them contains a blank. Thus, any one of you can delude himself that he has not shot the elephant. Although the odds are six to one that he has. Although the odds is six to one. Shut up! You understand, Dan? Bring on the rifles and give them out. <laughs> them out of the double. <laughs> the second, who do you think you is? The Sheik of Arabi? That's for him. What are you talking about? <laughs> so we can't see when we murder him. <laughs> Got a second, this is not murder. This is legal execution. We is acting under orders from a higher authority. And it is my job to implement them orders, even though it might be tearing my heart out. However, as a humane man, if you wishes to blindfold that elephant, I will not stop you. Move yourself, move yourself. Now, on the order take aim, you will take aim. Take aim! Oh, hide my eyes, Mohammed. I, I cannot bear to look. Can a sergeant do what you have to do and get back into line? Get back into line of the double boy. I'm stopping here. <laughs> I ordered you to get back into line. Move yourself. 
I'm not shifting. Shagun, I'm giving you one more chance. Get back into line! I'm not having you shoot him. He's only a little elephant. <laughs> right. Fall in two men, you and you. I said fall in two men! What are you soldier boys doing with my elephant? <laughs> is that yours? Of course it is mine. I have logging camp and I'm using elephant for the moving land. But this one I cannot train. All the time he forget. Now I've heard everything. An elephant with amnesia. Are <laughs> <laughs> You naughty, naughty, naughty boy. I am not understanding you. I am buying him from circus. And would you believe this? He's doing a dance to music and standing on his legs. Oh, hide my eyes, Mohammed. I, I cannot bear to look. Can a sergeant do what you have to do and get back into line? Get back into line of the double boy. I'm stopping here. <laughs> I ordered you to get back into line. Move yourself. I'm not shifting. Shagun, I'm giving you one more chance. Get back into line! I'm not having you shoot him. He's only a little elephant. <laughs> right. Fall in two men, you and you. I said fall in two men! What are you soldier boys doing with my elephant? Is that yours? Of course it is mine. I have logging camp and I'm using elephant for the moving land. But this one I cannot train. All the time he forget. Now I've heard everything. An elephant with amnesia. <laughs> you naughty, naughty, naughty boy. I am not understanding you. I am buying him from circus. And would you believe this? He's doing a dance to music and standing on his legs in the circus. But me, I cannot even make him sit down. The circus? Of course, I've got it. Lofty, when you first met him, were you singing? I might have been. Come to think of it, I was. Gentlemen rankers. Oh, sing again. We're two little lambs who have lost our way. Oh, oh. We're little black sheep who have gone astray. Ba, ba, ba. Lofty, try, try leading him out of the camp. Gentlemen, rankers, out of the street. Down from the There is no doubt about it, Gunnar Graham. A university education comes in very handy when it comes to dealing with little elephants what is suffering from magnesia. <laughs> you know, there's an old Hindu proverb which say, if you see an elephant wearing a necklace of coconuts, this does not mean it is a feminine elephant. Oh no, it could be Romany Catholic elephant. <laughs> Sergeant, where is the said elephant? It must have took off. <laughs> Gunner Sergeant, you were supposed to be a soldier. You know as well as I do that you was not allowed to make up fantastical stories when being charged by a warrant officer! Oh. Oh. Every flower is gone. <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely unspeakable. You're a monster. It was not nothing to do with me. Excuse me, sir, sir. I've just come from officer's mess up. Major Pinkerton, sir, was having drink when Elephant walked into mess up and out the other side. <laughs> what are you talking about? The doors aren't big enough. But he went through the wall, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Great Scott. But whatever did Major Pinkerton say? I don't know, sir. The mess fell down. <laughs> Mr. This is serious. An elephant has just demolished the guardroom. Where is he now, sir? Picking his teeth with the doorpost. <laughs> Tell the bugler to sound the alarm. Ah, this is all your fault, Gunnar Sir Dan! Because I hold you entirely responsible. Sir Major Williams! Yes! What? What? Hold on. 
Casual to reception station, sir. The bugler has just been wheeled in. Oh, yeah. Is yes. he serious? Uh, just, apparently, sir, as he was putting the bugle to his lips to sound the alarm, the elephant blew down the other end. <laughs> Are they operating? They can't, sir. They cannot give him anaesthetic without mending the puncture first. <laughs> to answer for Gunner, Gunner, uh, Gunner, sir. Sugden. Tell him to keep us posted. Go on. Right, we have Ashford. Ashford, <coughs> you'd better get the situation under control as quickly as possible. Do you understand? Me, sir? Yes. What are your plans? Elephants. Plans? Ah, oh, yes. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm just formulating them, sir. Just do it. Good. Beg pardon, sir. I think we should send out recce parties to locate the enemy. What enemy? The elephant, sir. Oh, yes, of course. Once we find him, sir, we can neutralise him. Neutralise him? Well, you have to be damn careful how you go about doing that. <laughs> I lay on the recce party, sir. Right. Concert party! Get on parade! Come on, he sounds very cross. Come on! What shall I do? Just go away. Yes, go away. You're going to have to pay for all this damage, you know? Get probably fell in some of these books and books, sir! Come on, come on! Go on, top! On the command number, you will number from the right in twos. Number! One! Two! One! Two! One! Two! One! On the command, fall out. You will hunt in pairs to locate a missing or rogue elephant. elephant. Stand still! <laughs> Once located, this elephant, number one, will report to the battery office. Number two will keep the elephant under observation at all times. You two go that way. You two go that way, and you two go that way. What shall I do? I've no one to two with. <laughs> I need a chum. The way you is going on, boy, you may never have a chum again. It is living over the other side of our Himalayas, called China. Now, the people who live in China are not a bit like us British. Oh, blimey, no. They are very peculiar. You see, they do not say, I remember the summer of 1942, or I remember the winter of 1945. Oh, no. They are saying, I remember the year of the fiery dragon, or I remember the winter of the brass monkey, isn't it? <laughs> now, all this is very confusing, I must tell you. And what is more, it has nothing to do with what I am talking about. <laughs> but there is one day that I do remember, which I am calling the day of the Ishmael Elephant. It all began like many days in India, with very hot sun, very many dirty flies, and also some beautiful music. Not you, you damn coolie. <laughs> Jolly hot chasa, eh? No, clear off. What do you call for, chasa? What are you talking about? You call cha cha cha. <laughs> ba ba ba, you book. Clear off. Clear off. Clear off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, but you're not quite right there. Yeah, well, I can't do it without hearing the tenor on the melodies. See? Well, Lofty will be back any minute now. Let's try the whole thing again, <clears throat> okay? Mm. Ah. Here we are again. Happy as can be. <laughs> <laughs> All good pals and jolly good company. <laughs> <laughs> Strolling round the town. Out upon the spree. <laughs> Out upon the spree, sir. Well, what about it? It's the next line of the song. I don't see that's got anything to do with you, Ashford. <laughs> I'm awful sorry, sir. Carry on with whatever you're doing. Yes, sir. Good heavens. Where are you off to? It's 11.30. I'm going to water my plants. Oh, you don't need to smoke like that. Just take your water and go. Yes, sir. Captain Ashford is a bit edgy this morning, son, isn't he? Yes, sir. His new plant has just arrived at the station. Oh, you mean that flower thing his friend sent from Simla? That's right, sir. You won't rest until it's safely planted. I gather it's something pretty erotic, sir. <laughs> Get off, shoot! Go away, you rotten thing! What's up now? What's going on, Ashford? Go away! And you jolly well stay away! It was one of those wretched pie dogs, sir. He was just about to lift his leg on one of my dahlias. Oh, better put barbed wire on there. I'll be! Let's fit in. 
What are you talking about? So we can't see when we murder him. <laughs> Galasagan, this is not murder. This is legal execution. We is acting under orders from a higher authority. And it is my job to implement them orders, even though it might be tearing my heart out. However, I is a humane man. If you wishes to blindfold that elephant, I will not stop you. Move yourself, move yourself. Now, on the order, take aim, you will take aim. <laughs> take aim! Oh, hide my eyes, Mohammed. I, I cannot bear to look. Can a sergeant do what you have to do and get back into line? Get back into line of the double boy. I'm stopping here. <laughs> <laughs> I ordered you to get back into line. Move yourself. I'm not shifting. Shagan, I'm giving you one more chance. Get back into line! I'm not having you shoot him. He's only a little elephant. <laughs> right. Fall in two men, you and you. I said fall in two men! What are you soldier boys doing with my elephant? <laughs> Is that yours? Of course it is mine. I have logging camp and I'm using elephant for the moving leg. But this one, I cannot train. All the time, he forget. Now I've heard everything. An elephant with amnesia. <laughs> you naughty, naughty, naughty boy. I am not understanding you. I am buying him from circus. And would you believe this? He's doing a dance to music and standing on his legs in the circus. But me, I cannot even make him sit down. The circus. Of course, I've got it. Lofty, when you first met him, were you singing? I might have been. Come to think of it, I was. Gentlemen rankers. Oh, sing again. We're two little lambs who have lost our way. Bah, bah, bah. Something's happening. <laughs> we're little black sheep who have gone astray. Ba, ba, ba. Lofty, try, try leading him out of the camp. Gentlemen, rankers, out of the street. Down from the street, where they see. Lord, have mercy on some. and report to us in the battery office as soon as you've seen it off the cap. <laughs> yes, I'll be in the control centre. <laughs> well, this uh, poses something of a problem, does it not? Oh, this poses something of a problem? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's obvious, isn't it? I mean, he's got his ears shut. What are you talking about? Well, look at that great big flat thing over its ear hole. No wonder it can't hear. Well, it's Hogan. Lift up that flap and talk to <laughs> Yes, Sergeant Major. Not too loud, mind. Cooey! <laughs> I think he heard me. He whittled something. What you need is an elephant charmer. Yeah, or Fabu the elephant boy. We need a marmite. A what? A marmite. A mar -hout. That's right. What are those? What we need is a rope. The rope in the prop basket, Sergeant Major. You know, Archie, now there's a boy with observation and initiative. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Sergeant Major. It's my widow twanky one from the Aladdin. Well, you go and get it then, the double. Go on, go on. Move yourself, move yourself! <laughs> uh, yes, sir, the whole affair is completely under control. Yes, my Sergeant Major intends to pass a rope around the animal so we can more or less do what we like with it. Uh, gently, of course. Pompadour, what the hell is you doing? Hurry up with that rope! I'm sorry, Sergeant Major, but it was the bottom of my basket under my Ginger Rogers and Ruby Keeler. Sharp it, Dick. <laughs> when we get the rope, we will make a noose of it and put it round the elephant's leg. That should be very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that should be very interesting. If you with your university education can come up with a better idea, perhaps you'll let me know in due course. There I am. I mean, 
Spread the rope out and tie a noose in it. Honey. Oh, when there is a crisis, we British are so daring and so brave. <laughs> and so stupid. <laughs> Shut up, you're only a tradesman. <laughs> right. Now, when I give the... <laughs> Probably your poor was the anesthetist! <laughs> Sergeant Major, it's my widow twanky washing line, you see. I sing Limehouse Laundry Blues and I finish up <laughs> like this. Get the hoot. <laughs> Get them off. There speaks the voice of experience. <laughs> Shut up. I'm sorry, Sergeant Major. It'll take hours. It'll wired on. Bombardier, I is not leading a heliphant through the streets of Dulali on a line full of red bloomers. Cut him off! <laughs> I've got a pair of scissors, Sergeant Major. There you are, see? Ingenuity. That's what we need in this man's army. Good boy. Go get him. He said it. The double. In the meantime, who is going to tackle the problem of getting the rope round some portion of this elephant?